This presentation is part of a lecture series on the C++ programming language by Michael Adams at the University of Victoria in Victoria, Canada. For those of you who might be interested, a copy of the slides for this lecture series can be downloaded from the website whose URL is given on this slide. In this section, I'll be discussing a class of software tools known as build tools, which includes, for example, utilities like CMake and Make. Building software is the process of creating executable programs, libraries, and other artifacts from the software's source code, and the programs that build software are known as build tools. In order to build software, we need to carefully track what items need to be built and the dependencies between these items. Dependency tracking is necessary for two reasons. First, we need to know the dependencies between items so that we can determine the order in which the items need to be built. For example, we cannot link the object files for an application program until the object files themselves have first been produced through compilation. Second, we need to know the dependencies between items so that we can minimize the number of items that need to be rebuilt when a change is made to the source code. For example, consider an application program that consists of 1,000 source code files. Suppose that this code has already been built by compiling all 1,000 source code files and then linking them to produce an executable application program. Suppose now that we change a single source code file upon which none of the other 999 source code files depend and we rebuild the code. In this situation, what we do not want to have happen is for the other 999 source code files that we did not change to be recompiled, as this is completely unnecessary and would take a very long time. Since none of the other 999 source code files depend on the single source code file that was changed, it is not necessary to recompile any of these other 999 files. To rebuild the code in this case, it is sufficient to simply compile the one source code file that was changed and then perform a single linking operation. Thus, by using dependency tracking, the amount of time required to build software can be greatly reduced. In the case of very small projects, it may sometimes be feasible to build the software manually. In the case of larger projects, however, the build process is far too complex to handle manually, and build tools are therefore needed to automate this process. Many build tools are available, varying greatly in terms of the functionality provided as well as the number of supported platforms, that is, the number of operating systems and compiler tool chains supported. On this slide, I have listed a few of the more popular build tools commonly in use today. CMake is a very popular cross-platform tool. It is available for many operating systems and supports many compiler tool chains. The GNU build system, often referred to as GNU Auto Tools, is a very popular build tool, mainly intended for use on Unix-based systems. The Make utility is a very old but popular build tool, mainly intended, again, for use on Unix-based systems. MS Build is a build tool that is part of Microsoft Visual Studio, and Xcode Build is a tool that is part of Apple Xcode. Of the tools mentioned here, CMake has the best cross-platform support, i.e. supports the largest number of operating systems and compiler tool chains. The level of cross-platform support is often an important consideration when selecting a build tool to use for a particular project. 